here with MHU Offensive Coordinator Les Kenning. Uh, Coach, just first of all, what makes you feel comfortable going into fall camp with the offense and what kind of keeps you up at night or what kind of question marks are you mainly focused on going in? Well, coming back, we've got a lot of depth and a lot of positions. We, we've got a lot of young kids that we take that, that redshirted last year at the wide receiver position coming along, and the numbers are really good. Uh, we have Marcus Green back starting at the beginning of the year, tight end will be really good. At tailback, we've got three guys that have played in SEC games. You've got Perkins, you've got Ballard, and you've got uh, – uh, what's our other guy? Robert, uh, Robert Elliott. Elliott. Yeah, Robert Elliott. Those three guys have all played, and I've, I've you know, they've been in SEC games. At the quarterback position, you got Chris Relf, you got Tyler Russell, you got Dylan Favre, that all have shown us that they can play in the SEC. Up front is probably our biggest question right now. You know, it's center and uh, left tackle. Uh, J.C. Brignoni graduating, and uh, you know. We've got Dylan Day. We've got Quentin that kind of kind of fit in there at center too for us. You know, Quentin's a swing guy. Uh, he'll start off at center, but he can both play both guards also. Uh, at left tackle, we have uh, James Carmen and Blaine Clausell uh, that are stepping in at that position. Uh, those are probably the things that keep me up at night. <laughs> I mean, you're asking though, you know, uh, just because they're young kids starting off playing in the SEC. The other positions have gotten people that have been. Uh, been playing in the SEC. We've been very fortunate enough to play Tyler Russell in some games, and so you feel comfortable with depth in some of those positions. Your thoughts as far as, you know, these guys are more experienced now. They know the system, a lot of mm -hmm. them. Sure. Does that open up the playbook more? Y'all able to do more now, or how does that process work? It sure does. I mean, you know, when you go into practice, uh, you're not teaching from day one. Uh, you know, there's a great grasp of our offense. They've been in it in our third year. Now we can start progressing and moving around and doing different things with our people because once you have a great foundation, okay, then you can build from that foundation. If you don't have a good foundation, it's tough. And we felt like we've put together a good foundation. How critical is it developing those young offensive linemen that are in that second unit? I think it's real critical. Uh, I think, you know, especially if we uh, happen to go through where we experience some, some people getting hurt. Uh, you know, we Tobias has been really a, a staple for us at guard, but he's been hurt off and on all year. So uh, we're going to have to endure some, you know, without getting some injuries up there. Looking at your receivers, you can finally say you have experience. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got some young kids coming in too and some redshirt freshmen that played well last year and a Michael Carr in that group. Talk about your receivers. Well, you know, we're excited about them. I mean, you know, uh, last year, you know, Malcolm Johnson adds some depth to us. Uh, Jamie on Lewis adds some depth to us. I mean, there's some receivers out there that, that we feel like can help us. Uh, Robert Johnson's another one. We, we uh, redshirted these young kids last year, and they uh, went through our program, got in there with Coach Bayless, and, and really got after it, and we're excited about to see what they can do. Anytime you have competition in position, you're going to get the best out of that position because, as you know, uh, if you don't do very good, the guy behind you is going to play. Where is Marcus Green and the other tight ends at right now going into fall camp? Well, I think Marcus is, is obviously the leader of that bunch. You know, uh, you know, we've got uh, Brandon Hill that's behind him that also plays. And, you know, we, Malcolm Johnson's kind of a swing guy. He can kind of do both for us. But, uh, you know, those two guys have been really, really good, and they've had the ability to – uh, you know, help us in that position. We'd like to see the progress of Brandon Hill keep coming on. You know, he's young, hadn't seen much uh, action, didn't see any last year, but this year it'll be interesting to see him on the field. He's very talented. And your quarterbacks, you got competition there. How, how do those guys push each other? Well, again, uh, as you well know, you know, Chris, Chris has done an outstanding job for us. Uh, you know, Tyler and Dylan uh, are just waiting for their chances. And I think uh, we've got them put in a position where, you know, they're all about two years apart with Dak being the last guy there, which is a great situation for us because, you know, as you well know, you go into the SEC and you start competing with a freshman quarterback, that's a tough duty now. I mean, uh, Georgia went through that last year. Uh, the kid did a really good job, but still you're a freshman and you're learning on the run. Uh, you know, it, it, we're fortunate enough where we have those kids where we can keep developing like we are and keep getting them playing time within the game like we did with Tyler. Uh, this year will probably be Dylan too, you know, as we keep moving those guys up, then they'll feel comfortable to take over the team when it's their, their time to do it. And what do you see different from Perkins and Ballard this year going into this year? Well, I mean, both of them are really exceptional backs for us. I mean, they've done a great job for us. Uh, you know, the competition between those guys are immense. 
Uh, you know, I'm really excited about what they bring to the table. Again, they're more familiar with our system. They understand exactly what we expect out of them. And, you know, Vic's done a great job coming in from junior college, stepping in and, and doing a really, really outstanding job for us.